I let the day die without worrying about lighting a lamp. I remember I could no longer see the nuts that I left on the table because they had gone into the side of darkness. This is when I remembered a passage from the Gospel of Mark, read during the canonical hours. It was the episode of the transfiguration of Jesus on Mount Tabor that Mark narrates in chapter 9. And Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, and led them up into a high mountain, apart by themselves. Before Jesus was crucified, he appeared to his disciples on Mount Tabor in a dazzling light. He appeared along with the prophets Moses and Elias. A miraculous, blinding light hit the disciples. I was moved in particular by the words of Peter, the apostle. Master, it is good for us to be here, as no launderer on earth could whiten them. And there appeared unto them Elias and Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. And there appeared unto them Elias and Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. And Peter answered and said to Jesus, and Peter answered and said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Master, it is good for us to be here. Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. It is good for us to be here. It is good for us to be here. It is good. It is good. It is good. It is good. To be here. To be here. To be here. To be here.